G'day punters, I just wanted to put the uh, camera on and um, um, throw my two bobs worth about the sand down track yesterday. So uh, I walked the track uh, on Tuesday as I always do ahead of uh, Metro meetings and I can assure everyone that that track was in the good range. There were some spots where it might have been a four but for the most part it was a three and a half and uh, the reason the times were particularly slow and um, would make some computer models reflect a, uh, a softer track rating is that the jockeys turned up and said let's welcome to the uh, Sandown Barrier Trials. So we had uh, several senior jockeys there yesterday treating the meeting with uh, scant regard and riding what I would say is um, a, in a scandalous fashion that produces very random and mixed results and um, it's, it's a situation that uh, can happen quite regularly, it happens a lot at Pakenham, we have massive differences in the times and the early sectionals are just outrageously slow and uh, to me I, I believe the stewards should, uh, it's an area where the stewards should be getting involved, however we just have so many race meetings that I suppose we just move on from one race to another so quickly that nothing ever gets looked at and we have a, a media that are either unwilling or incapable of um, levelling any criticism where it really deserves to be to, to be levelled. So the, the, the track team there, Tim Bale and his team, prepared a perfect track. We had 250, in excess of 250 nominations for the meeting and in the final wash up we had less than 70 runners. And we had a number of runners just outrageously scratching on a track upgrade. Um, it, which just you know, goes to the point of trainers having far too many options and being allowed by Racing Victoria to utilise those options far too liberally. Like being able to nominate for five meetings in a week and then pick and choose where you're going to go. I mean, like, who is in control here? Are the trainers in control or are the, is Racing Victoria in control? And I, I would really love to see a crackdown on... Um, dual accepting over across meetings day after day and then you know these large numbers of scratching for no other reason than oh, I've got a better option tomorrow tracks upgraded from a four to a three we'll run at Pakenham we'll run at Sandown so I, I, I would just suggest to anyone that's falling into the slow times that were run yesterday to have a very close look at it look at the late sections which are a better reflection of what the track was and point the criticism where it deserves to be pointed at the jockeys that treated that meeting yesterday like a set of barrier trolls, particularly the senior jockeys. There were three jockeys that can hold their head high from yesterday's meeting, being Lachlan King, Jack Martin and Harry Coffey. And just to, as an example of how outrageous this whole situation is, in the race that Harry Coffey run, they ran more even sectionals across the whole race, and the time in that race, the overall time, reflects a good surface. But when he got back to scale, Harry Coffey apologised on a number of occasions for riding the horse ugly, because he made the move coming down the hill out wide from last. I mean, that is exactly what you need to do on the lakeside course. The lakeside course and the hillside courses are extremely different. And if you sit back passively, out of the gates on a race on the lakeside course that starts in the back straight and do nothing and let the leaders just coast down the hill and then straighten up and pinch two lengths on you, you'll just have race after race that are dominated by the on-pace runners. And we get it time and time again on the Sandown Lakeside course, particularly when we go back there after a series of meetings on the hillside course. And the blame does not belong to the track staff and the way the track's prepared. The, the blame belongs on the jockeys who seem to need three meetings on the lakeside course to get their eye back in. Anyway, punters, that's um, just my opinion. That's my rant. I'm happy to cop any criticism I get for, um, for, for making it and um, welcome any feedback. Cheers, punters.